Hey, so this is a quick routine that you can follow for sciatica, low back pain, and general hip stiffness. We're gonna address all of that real quick here. So here we go. Just go ahead and lay down on the floor. All we're gonna do is start with our figure four stretch. You just cross your ankle over your knee. If you feel the stretch already right here, just hold that right there. But if you wanna deepen it further, you can grab your leg just like so. And holding and breathing. I like to breathe into the nose and out through the mouth. It helps you relax. And just the more oxygen you can get flowing through your body, the better. The goal is to hold each stretch for around 30 seconds. It doesn't have to be exactly 30 seconds. It could be a little under, a little over, but around 30 seconds is the goal. Let's switch sides. Feet down on the ground. Again, you can pause right here if that's where you feel the stretch, but if not, you can deepen it by pulling it in deeper, just like so. Breathing deeply while you hold the stretch. Shout out to the mismatched socks. You should be feeling that stretch on the outer side of your glute area. That's your piriformis muscle. Your sciatic nerve runs right under that muscle. And when that area gets tight, it can pinch it in between the bone. And go ahead and bring those legs back down. Go ahead and sit yourself up. We're gonna do a different stretch here. All you're gonna do is cross your ankle over your leg just like so. And if you feel the stretch, you can just hold it right here. But if you're flexible enough and you'd like to deepen it, you can also bring your elbow across and twist your body. And again, holding and breathing. You want to avoid pain while you stretch. Pain is not good when you stretch. It's okay to feel slightly uncomfortable or for it to feel intense, but you want to avoid pain. And only you can judge where that is for you. And let's switch sides. Go ahead and cross that other foot over. Again, you can just hold it right here if you'd like, or if you want to go deeper into the stretch, bring that arm over and twist around, holding and breathing. So sciatica is caused by many different things. It can be a bulging disc, a herniated disc, or it could be just tight piriformis, which is piriformis syndrome. Um, which is what we stretch for the figure four stretch and what we're stretching now. Oftentimes sciatica can heal itself as long as you're moving. Go ahead and switch it up. Go ahead and shake those legs out. So motion is lotion. Motion is the big thing, uh, but you also want to get um, some stretches in, which is what we're doing right now. We're gonna do a hip stretch for the hip flexor here. But um, if you have sciatica, generally you're gonna be pretty tight. So when you push forward like this, the goal is usually to feel the stretch right here, but if you have a tight low back, you're probably gonna feel it more towards this area over here, which is great. That's exactly where you wanna feel it if you have sciatica. But if not, it's a hip flexor stretch, holding and breathing. You're thinking about pushing your hips down toward the ground. Make sure your knee isn't going too far past your toes, so you don't wanna look like this. You want it to look closer to like that. And let's switch sides. Bring that other leg forward, push the hips down to the ground, holding and breathing. Again, you're keeping up that intensity, but you still are avoiding pain. Around 30 seconds is the goal. And come on out of that stretch. We're gonna do one more, but this time it's not gonna be a stretch. It's gonna be a little bit more of an active, um, more, you can kind of think of it as a workout, more like physical therapy. All you're gonna do is be on all fours, just like this. And you're just going to lift one leg straight out and hold it right there. You're going to hold it for around 10 seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
nine, 10, bring it down. Go ahead and sit yourself back if you can. You're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift yourself up or into the other side. Lift the other leg out and hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring that leg down again, resting back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift yourself up. Good. Lay down on your back. We're gonna do one more stretch and then we're done. It's one more stretch on both sides. You're just gonna bring one knee into the chest like so and the other leg all the way out on the ground, breathing deeply. Think about your back pressing down into the ground. You're letting it sink into the floor, almost like you're melting. Just let your body relax as much as possible. And let's switch sides. Go ahead and bring the other knee in, straighten the other leg all the way out, holding and breathing. This is the kind of stretching routine that you're gonna wanna do close to every day. And um, if it's just normal sciatica, it should clear up pretty quickly. Go ahead and bring the legs down to the ground and you're done. Great job, stay flexy.